still. When I'm talking about the condemnation... Advocate Dalimpofu's days of waiting for legal briefs and arguing in the country's highest courts come to an end after the 8th of May elections. Just a pure cost order. The Dumanoge Group of Advocates Senior Council is heading to the National Assembly to join his fellow Redbury fighters. But that means he'll no longer be representing the widows of those gunned down in the Marikana massacre. Yeah. Surely must uh, include... He'll also have to kiss his high-profile political cases goodbye. In my view, it's much more important, if you really are in it for justice, which I am, then uh, it, 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 would, it would have much more impact to change laws, to change the conditions of people, than to just wait for a particular case which may or may never come. Mbofu was the Red Beret's premier candidate for the economic hub of South Africa, Gauteng, in 2014. When quizzed on whether he's likely to be the Minister of Justice in a government of national unity or if approached by an outside party, Mbofu had this to say. I wouldn't prefer that. Uh, uh, politics is about power. So if you are given a ministry, let's say, as a favor by somebody, uh, then it's, it's, it's really just uh, greed that can uh, drive you to, to that. Because if it's offered just as a favor, then obviously you're going to be then be answerable to that person. And if they believe in a different ideological outlook of what should happen in the country, then they will uh, dictate. I would, would rather say that if we participate, we participate when we have the power to collapse that government, for example, or to uh, block certain decisions. Because in that case, then you are able to put proportionally your power into, into being. Mbofu is currently representing troubled former SARS commissioner Tom Moyane and former ANC Northwest chairperson Supra Mahumapilo. Briefs he'll soon have to hand over. Samkele Masego, Johannesburg.